Me your old customer We are see my drink drink dinner My shit is better for what you are for what dinner I'm gonna be on bed It's time to fight and we quarrel We go and suck tool When everything is not well Girl, me carry gentle No other girl with me at Welcome back to my channel, it's Trish. So I was playing around in makeup and I wanted to do something with like a yellow gold, but I also wanted to play with glitter. So this is what I came up with and I do like cut creases. So this is exactly what I came up with. If you guys like this look as much as I do, stay tuned in, keep watching. Everything will be listed down in the description box. Do not to get, forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next one. Okay, so I'm taking my 3502 palette and I'm taking this shade called Flux and putting that down as my transition shade. I'm taking this shade called Tan from the same palette and I'm putting that on top of Flux just to help warm up that transition. I'm taking my Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm taking this shade called Rocks In and I'm putting that in my outer crease area. Now I'm taking the 3502 palette and I'm taking this shade called Rich and I'm putting that in my crease just to start working on intensifying it. Now I'm just taking this shade called Chip from the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm putting that right underneath that color that I just put down. Now I'm taking the Nubian 2 Juvia's Place palette and I'm taking this shade called Kenya and I'm putting that in my outer V area. I'm going back into the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm taking this shade called Little Lady and I'm putting that down as my brow bone highlight. Now I'm just taking this angle eye brush and my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Porcelain and I'm about to start cutting my crease. Now I'm going back into the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm taking this shade called Creamsicle and I'm going to put that all over my lid area. I'm going to leave a small section of the outer area a little open just so I can put a deeper shade down so it can blend into my crease area because this is more of a half cut crease versus a full cut crease. Now I'm going back in the color rich and I'm putting that in the area that I left open on my lid so it can blend into my crease. I'm just creating that half cut crease effect. And now I'm just gonna just take another blending brush just to make sure that there's no harsh lines and everything is blended out. I'm gonna be using this clear lash adhesive as my glitter glue and I'm gonna be taking this 
glitter from this brand called Isme in the color Astro Gold. And I'm going to be putting that in the middle portion of my eyelid and just leaving that intersection open. And now I'm just taking my next matte liquid liner and I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lid. I went ahead and finished my liner and applied my lashes off camera. I also applied my Rimmel Matte Primer and my Maybelline Fit Me Matte Foundation and Color Deep Bronze off camera as well. So now I'm just taking my Kat Von D Lock It Concealer in the color D35 and I'm putting that on my in my highlighted areas and I'm going to blend it out with my Beauty Blender. I'm taking the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Mahogany and I'm just going to go ahead and contour my face. And when I'm contouring my face with this liquid, I usually just do my cheeks and around my forehead. I do not like to use concealer on my nose. I just like to go in with powder on my nose. And now I'm taking my Ruby Kisses powder in the color Ebony and I'm going to go ahead and carve out my nose and then I'll take another brush and blend it out. So I went ahead and applied my Sasha Buttercup powder to my highlighted areas and I went ahead and set my face with my Ben Nye Translucent Powder in the color Sienna off camera. And so I'm taking my same face powder and I'm going to go ahead and bake under my contour. I'm taking the shade Spice and Terracotta from the 3502 palette and I'm going to apply those two colors on my lower lid. I'm taking this shade called Pure from the same palette and I'm going to put that in my inner tear duct.
Now I'm taking my big fluffy powder brush and I'm dusting away my powder that I had put underneath my contour. And then I'll be taking my e.l.f. gel liner and lining my lower lash line. Now I'm taking my Wet n Wild and my NYX mascara and I'm just going to be coating my lashes. Sorry if I'm out of view. For some reason I just have to be like extra close to like my vanity mirror just so I can get my lashes to what I want them to look like. Now I'm taking my MAC Raisin Blush and I'm going to be applying that to the apples of my cheek. I'm taking the ABH Glow Kit in the shade Sun Dipped and I'm taking a shade called Tormalon out of that palette. And I'm going to be highlighting my face with that but first I'm going to spray my face with my next Dewy Setting Spray. Please do not pay no attention to me. When I get to highlight in my face, I start feeling myself just a little bit. I'm just gonna be putting down my Rosebud lip balm before I put on my lippy. Uh, for my lip liner, I'm gonna be taking the NYX Suede Lip Liner in the color Downtown. For my lip option, I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Matte Lip Stain in the color Sell Out. And then in the middle, I'm gonna put Color Pops Chi, and I'm making this somewhat of a ombre effect. you everyone for watching and tuning in i hope you guys enjoyed the look everything that i used will be listed down in the description box please do not forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next one